The IDC currently predicts that the world will be creating 163 zettabytes of data a year by 2025. Current storage infrastructure will not be able to meet these demands. Even though SAS performance has doubled with each new generation from the original 3 gigabits per second to 6 gigabits per second to the current generation of 12 gigabits per second, the current 12 gigabits per second SAS generation has reached throughput capacity. But 24 gig SAS, the next generation of SAS technology, has arrived, doubling the bandwidth of the storage interconnect and alleviating the PCIe Gen 4 bottleneck. When can we expect 24G SAS? Product vendors consider the SCSI Trade Association, or STAYS, PlugFest to be a key milestone for gauging next-generation SAS market readiness. And Microchip is playing a key role in the STAYS inaugural 24G SAS PlugFest 2019. With the industry's only 24G SAS controllers and 24G SAS expanders, Microchip is helping anchor vendor product interoperability tests and demonstrate how the new SAS4 protocol standard will improve performance and alleviate storage bottlenecks in data centers during this year's PlugFest. How is the bottleneck alleviated? Microchip's industry-first 24-gig SAS, SAS4 expanders coupled with our new 24-gig SAS, PCIe Gen 4 Tri-Mode SmartRock 3200 and Smart IOC 2200 storage controllers use dynamic channel multiplexing or DCM technology to fully utilize 24-gig SAS bandwidth uplinks by aggregating performance to SAS3, SAS2, or SATA drives. Microchip's 24-gig SAS expander and SAS controllers plus DCM enables storage subsystems to harness the full performance capabilities of PCIe Gen 4, efficiently aggregate transactions to lower-speed drives, fully interoperate with existing SAS and SATA infrastructure, and extend the lifecycle of legacy rack mount storage by aggregating throughput within the SAS fabric. DCM was recently demonstrated at Computex in Taipei. Microchip demonstrated how these solutions deliver capabilities beyond the standard to further improve performance and efficiency. This is our Trimo controller. Okay. Uh, it supports brain functionality and it has PCIe Gen 4 by 16 mm -hmm. going upstream to the host. And it supports up to 32.5 coming out for the drive side and you can run either PCIe Gen 4 MEME or SAS 4 or SANA. So, so that's why we call it Trimo. In this particular demo, I have a 100 port SAS 4 expander uh, connected to our Trimo controller. And the, the connector we're using is the mini SAS HD connector supporting up to 24 gigabit per second speed. In here, we have 16 of the SAS suite okay. SSD. Okay. So in my demonstration, I, we are showing a technology called DCM, or Dynamic Channel Multiplexing. Mm -hmm. So in a typical system, um, let's say we are using SAS suite SSD, mm -hmm. and we are using a 24 channel 12 gig per second. We can get up to free radical, 28.8 gigabyte per second then. And then, let's say we're using Gen 4 by a PCIe. We have 16 gigabytes going to the host. But we have a portal link here between our controller and expander. If we are running at a 12 gig native speed, right? Because if you have 12 gig SSD, the connection going all the way to the controller will be running at 12 gig. So you're essentially being portal link by here, having only 9.6 gigabytes per second, right? So how do we solve this problem? That's where we have dynamic channel multiplexing. So with dynamic channel multiplexing, we are able to run two 12 gig link on a sing on every single 24 gig DCM channel. Mm -hmm. So essentially, we are doubling the bandwidth. Here. So we remove the border leg between the expander and controller and be able to fully utilize our PCIe Gen 4 bandwidth going to the host. In here, uh, we also have a SAS4 LaCroix analyzer. So we have been working closely with LaCroix to, to support this DCM feature. So in the analyzer software, 
you are able to see each DCM 12 gig channel, they turn in 4 gigs SAS file. So right now I have my armatures running uh, with DCM disabled. So DCM is not running. So it's running about at 2.7 gigabytes per second. So if I enable DCM, we would expect this bandwidth to double. So you can see that it essentially double when DCM is enabled, mm -hmm. jump from 2.6 to over 7 gigs. So this, the firmware is still in early development, so we are continually improving the, the, the performance of our expander and our controller. Every industry that needs increased storage performance will benefit from 24 gig SaaS. These industries include hyperscale data centers, banking, education, government, healthcare, and manufacturing. To learn more about microchip 24G smart controllers and 24G SaaS expanders, please visit us at microsemi.com.